What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm gonna show you how to record your electric guitar in your DAW. Now keep in mind, I'm using the DAW Logic Pro X with my R-Track 2x2 interface, but the same steps are going to apply no matter which DAW you're using or which interface you have. It's also gonna be the same whether you're using a Mac like I'm using or a PC. So the first setup we're gonna go over is using one microphone to record our electric guitar amp using one channel on our interface. Like I mentioned, I'm using the R-Track 2x2 interface, so if you need any help setting your interface up to your Mac or PC, check out our videos that we have on that. If you don't have a guitar amp like we're using today, you can also plug your guitar right into a channel on your interface to record, which we also have a video on, so you should check that out as well. For today though, I'm gonna plug my guitar into the amplifier and we're gonna capture the sound that's coming out of the amp. I'm also gonna be using a condenser microphone, which is our very own RCM Pro, but keep in mind you can use any microphone to do this, whether it's a dynamic microphone, a condenser microphone, etc. Keep in mind that each microphone has their own sound, so you're gonna wanna think about that when you're choosing which microphone you wanna use. It doesn't really matter what kind of microphone or what kind of amp you have, whether it's the cheapest gear that fits within your budget or the most expensive gear, the most important thing is that you use the tools that you have. So when setting up your mic, you do want to make sure you have a sturdy enough stand that's going to be able to reach the guitar amp wherever you have the stand set up. And we have a bunch of different mic stands on our website that you can check out to find the one that fits your setup best. So the first thing I can do is connect my microphone to a channel on my interface with an XLR cable. I'm going to take the female end here and plug it into the microphone. Then I'm going to plug the other end into a channel on my interface. So for today, I'm going to go with channel one. One important thing to keep in mind if you're using a condenser microphone is that you have to activate phantom power in order for the mic to work. So we can go ahead and do that using the 48 volt button here next to the input. So now we can figure out the mic placement that we want to use to record our amplifier. The cool thing about using a one microphone setup is that we can place it anywhere around the amplifier and it's gonna change the sound of our recording. So for example, if I place the microphone more in the center of the cone inside of my amplifier, that's gonna give us more of a brighter sound. And if I move it more towards the edge of the speaker, I'm gonna get a more bassier sound. To be more accurate, you can always take a flashlight and point it inside of the guitar amp to find out where these points on the speaker are. You can also experiment and place the microphone as close or as far away from the amp as you want, and you can also experiment with slanting the microphone so that it's off axis, which will also change the overall sound. There are no wrong answers, so you should experiment and try out all of these different mic placements in order to get the sound that you want for your recording. So for today, I'm actually gonna place the microphone in between the cone and the edge of the speaker, so we're getting a balanced sound between the high and the low end. I'm I'm also going to place it slightly off axis and I'm going to place the microphone itself about four inches away from the speaker. So next I can go into my DAW and create a new track for my microphone and make sure to set it to the same input I plugged my microphone into. We can check how the level is by looking at the signal indicator on our interface and we can also check out the level coming in on our track here to see if we need to adjust the level any further. We can adjust the level on our interface by using the gain knob for our input. And also keep in mind that the volume that we have our amplifier set at, whether we're using a clean channel or a dirty channel, is gonna play into how the level is coming into our interface. So once we're all set with the settings on our amplifier and the level coming in through our interface, we can go ahead and lay down some tracks. Now another setup we can use is by miking up our guitar amp and using a DI box at the same time so that this way we get the sound coming out of our amplifier and we also get a clean signal going into our DAW so that we can blend the sounds together. So to do that, I'm gonna take the quarter inch cable coming from the guitar and I'm gonna plug that into the input of my DI box. Then I'm gonna take another quarter inch cable and plug that into the through on the DI box and plug the other end of this quarter inch into the input of my guitar amp. So next we need to connect the DI box to another channel on our amplifier. So I'm gonna take another XLR cable, plug the female end into the output of the DI, then plug the other end into another channel on my interface. Next I can go into my DAW and create a new track for my DI signal. 
I'm also gonna wanna set the track to input two since we're using input two on the interface. And I can also raise the gain knob so that the signal is coming in through our interface. So in summary, I have my guitar plugged into the DI box that's running into a separate channel on my interface. And because of the through output, I'm also able to run the signal to my guitar amplifier so that the guitar is hitting the interface and the guitar amp at the same time. I'm also planning on using the same exact mic placement and amp settings as the last setup. Now, if you're hearing a buzzing coming out of the amplifier after we've connected our guitar and run the DI to our guitar amp, try experimenting with the lift and ground switch, and that may get rid of the buzzing that you're hearing coming out of the amp. So once we're all set, we can hit record and lay down some more tracks. Now we can also experiment and add more microphones to our setup, which is gonna give us the option to blend in different sounds for our overall recording. There are different mic placements we can use with more than one microphone, and we can also experiment with different combinations of microphones, whether we're using a condenser and a dynamic microphone, two condenser microphones, two dynamic microphones, etc., etc. Again, no mic technique is better than the other. It just all depends on the sound you're trying to capture. The one thing you do want to make sure of is that the microphones are set in phase when you have two of them set up to your amplifier. So for my two mic setup today, I'm using one condenser microphone and one dynamic microphone. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect my dynamic microphone into another channel on my interface. So like I mentioned, there are no wrong answers when choosing the mic placements for my microphones as long as I'm capturing the sound I want for my recording. So for today, I'm gonna place the dynamic microphone in between the cone and the edge of my speaker. And I'm also gonna place my condenser microphone right next to it to add some more beef to it. So once I have my mics all set up, I can adjust the gain for each microphone on my interface, check the level on each track to make sure that they're coming in well. If you haven't already, make sure you have two tracks set up on your DAW for each microphone, set to the inputs that you're using on your interface. You can also invert the phase on one of your tracks so that the sound between the two tracks that you have are nice and balanced. Once we have our mics all set up, we can adjust the gain on our interface so that the level coming into our DAW for each track is at a good level. We can also make sure that the amp settings are set the way we want them, and then we can go ahead and lay down some tracks. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to record your electric guitar in your DAW, and hopefully it gets you out there experimenting with all these different mic placements and everything we talked about today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.